Pat and Go with Paul Browning. I am your host, Paul Browning. We are back again. Uh, this is week six. We are flying through the season. You can probably tell we have new digs here. Yeah. Uh, we are at Mountain Country Radio, so we want to give a big shout out to Mountain Country Radio for, for hosting us and uh, letting us uh, have these this new space uh, where you guys can can see us on YouTube and uh, I feel like I'm in a fishbowl. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, you know, for the, for the viewers that are on YouTube. Uh, one, like, share, subscribe yes. uh, to our pages. Uh, obviously, we have the uh, KPPF 10:40 AM radio, and also Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Like and subscribe there. Uh, but we have so yeah, much room now. We have a lot of room, and like it's for for our viewers watching. Um, obviously, we have Mike Lewis here to my right. We also have DJ on the ones and twos, which it's a bittersweet day. Yeah. Um, DJ is, is going on into some, some bigger, better, greater things. <laughs> and uh, I can't get greater than this. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> we just want to say thank you, DJ, yeah. so much, man. You are DJ on the ones and twos, and we really appreciate you. This yeah. whole thing couldn't, couldn't have uh, gotten even started and run away that, that we wanted it to run without you. So we really appreciate you. Don't make me cry now. Yeah, man. I'm going <laughs> to make you cry when we start talking about your record or these picks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, DJ did pretty good. He was 11-4 and four last week. Yeah. Uh, with his picks, he he demolished uh, Mike and I. Uh, but uh, hey, it's week six. It is. I think it's time for us to jump into the high point. All right. So as we jump into the high point, obviously you guys know we've got some game balls to give out. But first, we're gonna recap this uh, Thursday night football game. We had the Bucks and the Eagles. Uh, Bucks took the Bucks. win. I don't know if it's necessarily yeah. as surprising to us. Yeah. Uh, My game ball does go to the Bucks for their that defense. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Definitely yeah. for the, uh, for for last week. No, for this for week. For this week. You're, ready. You're giving it. Yeah. We'll do that one. We'll give the game ball. To, <laughs> I'm to not going to be here next week. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take we're the ball, right? From you. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Definitely. <laughs> also, we're going to bring in our guest for the week. We've got Guy Mur- – uh, excuse me, Guy Mur- Guy Gurdon. Guy Gurdon. Let's cross. I've been all worse, who, believe me. We've got two <laughs> guests coming on today. First, this is Guy with uh, Mountain Country Radio Sports, um, and he's going to be on today sharing a couple hot takes with us. Uh, so we're going to be able to jump into all these uh, different uh, uh, takes that we have. But for just starting off with the game ball, of course, we've got the Bucks defense uh, for what they did against the Eagles this week. That's for me. Now, what's yours? Okay, well, hold on. So, so uh, just with that game, I want to say good, great job to yeah. the Bucks defense, even yes. with the Hurts secondary. Yep. But being able to have time of possession the way they did, the Eagles had the ball for a whopping eight minutes yeah. in the first half. So, uh, great job to uh, to the Bucks there. Um, I'm actually going to do my game ball from last week. Would be Kyle Pitts, uh, the rookie out of Florida. He had nine catches and 119 yards and a touchdown out in London across the pond. Across yes. across the pond. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my. my my accent, no. Um, but but being able to have uh, a great game like that as a rookie was a real coming out uh, party for him. And I just want to say uh, it, it's bittersweet for me because I, I know you're going on to better things, DJ. Yeah. So my, I'm giving you my game ball because Aww. I learned a lot working with you, especially about the Raiders, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I've learned a Welcome lot of more than I ever wanted to know about the Raiders, too, by the way. But it's been a pleasure meeting you, working with you, and I wish you all the best. Definitely. Yeah, well, I, I I I'm really excited for us to continue to yeah. to grow and, and figure out what we're gonna how we're gonna continue to go on. But uh, guy, I want to throw it over to you. Do you have any uh, Did you have any games last week? Were you able to kind of see um, any players of the week for you? Players of the week, but I tell you what, there's been uh, several a lot of great players going yeah. on, and uh, you know, of course, Tom Brady had yeah. two touchdowns mm-hmm. uh, and at Fournette. Yeah, Leonard Fournette. He's impressive, mm-hmm. isn't he? Oh Especially yeah. Especially wearing that number seven. <laughs> <laughs> the number change has been a thing for oh, us yeah. in studio. A- we've we've definitely <laughs> talked about the number change, uh, but uh, yeah, no, the Bucks are going to be a team to that we really got to watch mm-hmm. out for. Continue to go into this season. Um, so, uh, but. We're gonna. We're, that was it for uh, the high point. We're gonna take a little quick break, uh, so then we can talk a little bit more with Guy. Throw some flags on the play. Uh, but you are watching or listening uh, to Pat and Go with Paul Browning. All right, welcome back to Pat and Go with Paul Browning. I'm your host, Paul Browning. Uh, for those who are watching on YouTube, make sure you are liking and subscribing, sharing to all your friends, your buddies, let them know that there's some great content uh, coming out of our studio with uh, sports. So. Um, You guys can like and subscribe at KPPF, uh, 1040 AM on YouTube, and also Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Uh, So, guys, I think it's time for us to hop into our uh, second segment, Flag on a Play. Yep. Yep. All right. So, 
Definitely. So, so uh, once again, we are here with Guy with uh, Mountain Mountain Country Sports Radio, and uh, so when we go flag on the play, we're, we're throwing a flag on whatever controversial or thing that's uh, you know we don't like it as much. So we're gonna throw a flag on the play. <laughs> right. uh, there's a penalty for them. Uh, now I think as a collective group, we've come together that this week has been. Uh, I'm going to try this Heartbreaking. word. Heart, heartbreak. It was, I think that's a great one that uh, for DJ. Shirt. Depends yeah. on your perspective. Yeah, now. definitely. Right. For, for the Raiders, um, when it comes to a personality and somebody in football with the personality that we've had when it comes to John Gruden, um, really disappointing. Um, I know he was a coach that I, from the outside looking in, really liked um, a lot of how he coached. Mm-hmm. And, you know, growing up in the – early 2000s or you know i'm from a 90s considered baby. a player's sure. coach too. yeah you know and seeing what he did with um uh with the raiders back in the day and then you know with the bucks to win that super bowl um for it to come back around and there's some being some emails that have been um put into to light now from, removed from the ring of fame right there. yeah so so and all because of these emails that have uh, those who don't, don't know some emails uh, have been circulated or have been um, actually uh, grabbed up during an investigation of the Washington football team and their misconduct uh, they were able to find some emails from John Gruden that were um, not only racist uh, sexist and also homophobic and misogynistic. Uh, yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, um, and it's just, uh, it's like I said, very, very, um, it's sad, very sad, yeah, it really very is sad, sad he, and troubling. Ten year contract he had, and he's in his like fourth year, and so you know he was going to be around. He was going to be a Raider forever, mm-hmm. pretty much. And yep. uh, he knows football and the ESPN, yep. you know, of right. course, with his background there. Yeah. So it is. It's so sad. <clears throat> yeah, and and. Um, it's it's one of the things where the the really light place for me, the happy place for me, is um, he's he's being made of an example of. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's no no place in uh, and let me say this because you guys know I've been in I've been in the locker room. I've been in that NFL locker yeah. room and I've been in high I mean high school college. There's a lot of to say it how it is toxic masculinity. That is within inside of a locker room. Right. It just right. is what it is. I mean, Absolutely. there's a lot of times where we talk a certain way, and um, I think it's it's good that that change is is coming. You know, when it comes to those who who do not carry themselves in the correct way, who are not going to um, who are not going to have love for everybody and and have a certain way of thinking um, that really is is not acceptable. Um, for that to be brought out into the light. I don't know if you guys have any, any not any to takes. make light of that, mm. but how is this the only thing that comes out of those computers? Mm-hmm. We, we have not seen any report from mm. the Washington football team investigation right. other than this. Yeah. And, and I guess for me, that's, I, I, I also throw a flag on the NFL because routinely the NFL is kind of late to the party. That's mm-hmm. just, I'm going to, I'm going to call it call a spade a spade uh, with the Ray Rice situation. Uh, you guys remember that yes. where he had uh, had that domestic violence yeah. incident um, and he wasn't really facing any real penalty until TMZ got got the video. And the moment that the video hit the airwaves. Well, that makes me look bad. Exactly. So it's it's making decisions off of public opinion versus morality. And then the NFL jumps it. Right. There you versus go. when from right. from the start it should have been, oh, this is really an issue for us. We do not align with this. Right. We are going to give you we're going to hit hit you with the book. So then when it does come out, well, at we the very know. least, uh, I'm doing an investigation. We got this a uh, panel of people that are going to look over everything. At the very least. Yes, at the very least. So. Well, and they're talking about enablers, right? They're mm-hmm. going to try to find some enablers with, with Coach Gruden as yeah. well. Who else was involved yep. and what right. all part they had. Yep. So it'll be interesting to see what comes up here yep. in the next couple of weeks. Because he's yep. not the only one. I guarantee Like I said, when it comes to being in an NFL locker room, there's a certain – you know, there's a certain just bravado that's in the NFL locker room. He's not the only one talking like that. I guarantee it. I guarantee there's other guys in the NFL PA is doing their due diligence to make sure if anybody else is talking like this, if anybody else is is, is trying to be like this, we're going to find you. You're going to be found, and, you know, you don't have a place. So I get that, and I stand behind it. But once again, I have an issue with the NFL for being late to the party because just like when we talked about with the Black National Anthem. Right. 
it doesn't seem as genuine. It does not seem that genuine. It's kind of just like a, oh, well, now it's an issue. Because we were talking about this. I mean, this, this, this news came up on Sunday morning. Yep. And he still coached the whole game. And then after, when more came out, that's when it became an issue. And we talked about these emails go back, what, 12 years, something like mm-hmm. that? Yes, sir. If it was an email, that means somebody else got the message. Right. And why didn't they report the messages when they were getting them? This built up over a period of time. I think that's one of the questions about this whole thing. Right. They, I mean, you, like, like you said, for it to be through time, and for they, it to be something that's, you know. Where do the Raiders go from here, too? I mean, yeah. uh, you know, they get the assistant coaches and all that, too. But uh, it's going to be interesting, especially Sunday. Well, yeah. I'm really <laughs> excited because uh, Greg Olson takes over play calling uh, this weekend. Uh, he's he's called some pretty good games, especially last year. Um, and he has the confidence of Derek Carr. So I, I, I don't think that productivity is going to be – uh, too much down. I think they'll play up this weekend, especially here mm-hmm. in Mile High City. Yeah. Well, and Paul, I wanted to ask you, as a NFL player, what mm-hmm. does this, what does something like this do to the team? I'm not I mean, sure what, you what, went through anything. This I mean, not <laughs> you didn't go through anything like this, but I mean, you you know, you've got players, yeah. you know, friends that are still playing in the NFL. What does this do to the psyche? Well, one thing is this is it's the NFL. It's a business. Right. So one thing that is the is the constant is somebody is removed rather quickly when you didn't necessarily know that they were going to be removed, and that happens all the time in the NFL. Um, so I think in any job, really, it really in it. Yeah, yeah, I could totally understand that. You messed up, you're out. Right. Yeah. You know, um, I think the NFL a little bit more on steroids when it comes to. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> you know, if I, if if I say uh too many times in here, I feel like I'll be all right. But you know. <laughs> NFL, no, don't don't yeah, don't misstep. Uh, but that's one of the things where it's it is a constant where things may change around you. You still have to come to work and you still got to show up. And that's the thing. I, I have full confidence that the Raiders uh, players and then in that locker room can band together um, and make sure that they can work as a unit. It's a mm-hmm. it's a group of grown men who already understand how to play this football game. Been playing for years. I mean, it's not a team full of rookies. Um, so hopefully that's one of the things that can happen with Oakland. They can band together and know that, you know, we are a unit. We are a good team. I mean, they've got the – they have the first open gay player on that roster. And for them to be able to um, open arms, make sure that they're bringing that, uh, bringing that person, make sure, making sure he feels even comfortable to, to release that. Mm-hmm. I mean, that says something for – for the Oakland Raiders and that, uh, excuse me, Oakland, yeah, that's all Las right. Vegas Raiders, Las Vegas. Uh, for them to uh, to to be able to do that, and um, it, it, I, I think they 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 should be all right. It's gonna it's definitely gonna mess with the season though. Mm. It's definitely gonna mess with the season. I believe so. Well, in the first game, it's the yeah. beloved Broncos. So yeah, we'll, I know. We'll see who's yeah. on the sideline. Yeah. So this is this is a good this is a good uh, this is this will be an excellent yeah. test. I'm going for the home team for that game. <laughs> yeah. When we, we get will, to the picks. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna get to the picks. So that's gonna but that wrap. flag went out. Yeah, that, that flag. We threw it. That's a mean flag. Uh, I threw it Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. I thought about you when the news broke. Yeah. By the way. I, was yeah. like, I wonder yeah. what DJ is going through right uh, now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Raider Nation is sad. Yeah. Yeah, no, and I understand that. But uh, that's going to do it for uh, the flag on the play. Uh, when we come back, we're going to introduce another guest. Uh, but for, for right now, we still got Guy on with uh, Mountain Country Sports. Um, so uh, we're going to take a quick little break. Uh, this is Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Welcome back to Pat and Go with Paul Browning. I'm your host, Paul Browning. You already know on my right, I've got Mike Lewis. What's up? I've got DJ on the ones and twos. Big salute to DJ. And then our guest today, we have uh, Guy Gurton. You got it. Yeah, there it right. is. Good with, to see uh, you. you. got it. Mountain Country Sports. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> He's been with us all uh, um, all day, so uh, we really appreciate you, Thank you yeah, having appreciate us. It. And we appreciate Rocky Mountain Country, uh, excuse me, um, Mountain Country Radio for having us. Uh, and now we're going to bring in our other guest. She's also on KPPF. I don't know if you guys want to continue to check us out, uh, but... We've got seven Murdoch in the building. Let's give a quick little uh, golf Ooh. clap. Well, say, <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, seven Thank Murdoch you. is in the building. Thank you, guys. Uh, USOA Miss Colorado 2021. Congratulations. And also, Thank yes. you. Thank you. Also the host of Sev Sells. Um, so I, I want to back up a little bit, though. 
and get a little bit more into the Miss Colorado thing because okay. that's a heck of a like accomplishment. Thank you. Tell us a Thank little you. bit about uh, one. Like, have you always been like? doing pageants and things like that? No, not at all. So I actually, I grew up a huge tomboy. Okay. Um, I picked my nose for entirely too long. <laughs> grew up working on race cars. I mean, the definition of Miss Colorado, we went hunting and fishing and camping and mountain biking and I can romp a dirt bike, right? Oh, yeah. So getting into the, the world of pageantry was very, very weird for me. Um, it was something that I actually got recruited to do, which was odd. I didn't know that that was a thing. I also didn't know how much money you can make in pageantry. Um, yeah, like, right. I feel like I, I'm in the wrong court. Maybe I should start getting into pageants. Yeah, we need like, a yeah. Mr. Colorado somewhere, right? <laughs> um, but no, it, it was definitely a, a growing experience, a learning experience for me. Um, I'm not your, your Barbie princess pageant girl by any means, so it was very uncomfortable. But I think that being uncomfortable is good. Um, you know, you never grow when you're comfortable, right? right. So. Yeah, right. Once again, this is uh, Seven Murdoch that we have on um, here with Pat and Go. Also, for those who are watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, Pat and Go, uh, with Paul Browning, also KPPF 1040 AM. Um, so for you to be more tom uh, tomboyish and then get recruited, like how did uh, you said you got recruited into? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, like yeah. So that... they they found me on social media on all my social media accounts. Look what and, social media can do for you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. So I, you know, at first I was like, "There's yeah, no, totally wrong person." <laughs> um, but then you know, my family. We've been in Colorado for multiple generations now, over 150 years in the state. Um, I come from a family of uh, a long line of small business owners and entrepreneurs, and I saw an incredible opportunity. And I know that everyone says this, but to actually give back to my community. Yeah. Um, and, and that's something that I really wanted to do uh, just because I think that the Colorado Springs community, Colorado community has taken care of us for so long. It's a really cool opportunity to actually be able to take care of them, too. Yeah. So I've done a handful of really cool fundraisers and um, it's just been it's been a journey. I'll give you a little bit of a round of applause. That's very cool. <laughs> Thank I like you. That. I like that a lot. Thank right. you. So, um, being a, being Miss Colorado, you got to be a Bronco girl, right? You know, I'm not actually <laughs> I'm not actually a football girl, She's which I think <laughs> <laughs> which I, and you know what I've I've got to say, I hate the colors. I just I don't look the, the, good in them, no, you know. No. I, if I had to pick a team, it'd probably be Dallas, right? Just they're better colors. Hey, and their cheerleader squad is like I mean, that's like they've got like yeah, got, baby. They, they have a team Come show. to the dark side. Yeah. They have a whole <laughs> team show. They yeah. started it all, by the way. And you were yeah. you, you were you were a cheerleader, right, in high school? I was. Okay. Yeah, I was a cheerleader yep. in high school. <clears throat> Couldn't really tell you how football works, but I knew what side of the field to run to and what cheer to do. Oh you know? man, I love it. I love it. I love it. And then you also have a, you currently have a show going on right now. Yes. Seth sell. So yes. like you, you're multi multifaceted. You can jump into a different a couple different lanes. Tell us a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. That. So um, I'm a top producing real estate broker, both <laughs> locally and nationwide, which has been really fun. I got into the industry as a broke rookie, 19 year old. I had just turned 19. So I mean, it's it's been a fun journey, the real estate journey for sure. But now we get to educate people on all things real estate on the Sev Cell Show right here at KPPF. Wow. Saturday yeah. at 10 a.m. Saturday at 10 a.m. I like right it. now it's a good time to be in real estate in the Colorado Springs market, isn't it? It is. But I mean, you know, hold your breath. <laughs> uh, I am. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know how much longer we're going to see a market like this. So. so so I just I know you're not as much into football, but um, is there any names or anybody who pops out to you? Because one of the things that we were kind of looking at uh, was where is the future of this and where is the future of the game going? We've got a lot of great teams right now. Um, when you look at the power rankings, you've got the Bills at one, you've got the Cards at two, you've got the Rams, the Bucks, the Packers, the Cowboys, the Chargers, the Ravens, the Browns, and the Chiefs. All right, it's a lot of teams. Um, but are 10. <clears throat> each one, no, right? <laughs> and and, and they, they don't have necessarily, like, a winning record. Um, but um, when you look at a team or all these teams, they're all led by some great quarterbacks. Question for you, do you see anybody that's in the league currently who may be the face of football for you or without <laughs> Tom Brady or – it's okay. Okay. Uh, 
Well, again, not really a football person. Okay. Don't really watch football. Okay. Okay. So probably, gonna... probably the worst, but maybe one of the more entertaining people to have on your show. What I would say, <laughs> not knowing a lot about football, if you're looking at the future of football, you got to look at who's recruiting from where and what those recruits are doing later on in their careers. What kind of players are they? Because that's the future always, right? Yeah. Look to the youth. Look to the people who still have heart, who are still trying to go big or yeah. go home. Yeah. You know, look to those college recruits, right? Yeah, yeah all the rookies. Hey, yeah. if you're a rookie yeah. and you're watching yeah. Pat Go, yeah. Yeah. listen to Seven. She's got She's you. saying they're still on the come up. They're, they're coming out this year. Yeah. Oh, but look at, look at the stats, you know? <laughs> what, which, team, which teams are, are better at recruiting, right? Well, which teams are going to have yeah. – well, that's the thing. That's the thing about NFL. The better, the better you do, the worse pick you have. The worse you do, the better pick you have. Yeah. So, um, which – do you have a, a pick? I uh, do. For, oh, face of the league? Yeah. I would have to say that's Trevor Lawrence down there with the Jags. I mean, this guy, he looks pretty good, and he's only speaking just Speaking of rookies. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking the of the rookies, rookies. Speaking of the future. That's it right there. Once he gets it going, and, of course, you got your Bills guy that uh, we should have had here, uh, Allen. Josh Allen, yeah. <laughs> with the Broncos. But, hey, he's doing well with the uh, Bills. But I'd have to go with Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Um, I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. Um, he is – The face of Madden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, the face of Madden. Um, he is one player who has more total yards than 18 other teams in the NFL, one of those teams being the Packers, which is a really good offense there. Uh, but uh, I think uh, Lamar Jackson, what he's doing, how he continues to transform the game, people doubt him on him being able to throw the rock, and then he goes for 400 with the – Greatest passer uh, passing percent completion percentage that you could in a four hundred uh, in a four hundred yard game. In a similar vein, I'm gonna say it's uh, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, yeah, it's a, a good pick. A little bit younger, yeah, uh, and a little bit more spry. Yeah, I'm looking at Dak right now. Dak Prescott. Prescott yeah. Wow, yeah. I mean, it, it is the Dallas Cowboys, and yeah. I tell you what, I tell you what, if Dallas were to go to <laughs> Dallas, <laughs> yeah. if Dallas were to go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, Dak Prescott, I think undoubtedly would be the face of the NFL because if the, he's the guy who can give the Dallas Cowboys a Super Bowl again. Yeah. And coming back on, from what he's been and, through. Oh, my long, gosh. Yeah, he would yeah. – f- without a doubt, he'd be the face of the NFL. Yeah. So we're going to stop it there. Um, this is Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Uh, we're just going to take a quick break, um, and then we'll come back with some picks. All right, you're watching Pat and Go with Paul Browning. See you in a second. Welcome back to Pat and Go. I am Paul Browning. This is Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure that you like and subscribe to KPPF uh, Radio 1040 AM. Or also Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Uh, make sure you also uh, check in Podbean so you can listen to previous episodes. And if you're just listening on the radio, uh, we thank you guys for listening uh, this Sunday morning. So uh, thank you guys for, for, for tuning in. I've got Seven Murdoch all the way to my left here. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Miss Colorado. Um, I've got Guy Gurton Thank you. Uh, with uh, Mountain Country Sports. Thank you I've for got, having me. Uh, oh, of course, of course. I've got Mike Lewis, of course. We've got DJ on the ones and twos. DJ, once again, we love you. I know this is uh, your last episode, and we want to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. Absolutely. It's, it's been a great time. It's man. my goal to make you cry right now. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, but le- you know what? We cannot end the show uh, without 50-50. Time to pick them. Okay. So uh, this is 50-50, obviously, our game picks that we do for the week. Um, right now, when it comes to, to the picks, um, I'm in second place with 47 wins, 26 losses. DJ, you are like you like on the cusp. you got to go like undefeated, <laughs> and we've got to lose some games. But uh, you are 39 and 34. But I was 11 and 4 last week. You were 11 yeah, and 4 last it. week, so that's a way to do it, okay? And then, Mike, you are 48 and 25. I am on your heels, baby. Okay. I'm coming. All right. Um, now we're going to do some picks. Uh, if you guys would love to stick around and join in, in some of these, um, let's start with on the other across the pond. Is that a, that was a terrible accent? <laughs> um, across the pond. We're going to do. You can't uh, even golf clap you there. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't. Uh, we've got the Jags and the Dolphins. And you know what? I'm going to switch it up this week. We've got a couple of those Vegas spreads uh, that I'm going to uh, share with you guys. So anybody who's doing a couple uh, bets. Um, make sure you're listening to what I'm saying so then you can win yourself some money, okay? okay. Um, we've got the Jags and the Dolphins on CBS. Uh, they're playing right now. Um, where are we going? I got the Jags. You got the Jags? Yep. And my lucky pad, this is the secret to how That's I stay the, the league. Are you first place? 
Yeah, I got the Dolphins. Got the Dolphins. Trevor Lawrence leading the way. I got to go with the Jags. You got They're the Jags. Start winning. You I, bet. I like it. Statistically speaking, I'm going to go with the Jags. You're going to go with the Jags. I like it. I like it. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Uh, and the Dolphins do have the three-point spread. So for those who are watching uh, and, and betting, uh, pay attention to that. Uh, we have the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Washington Redskins. Or excuse me, Washington football team. Oh, my gosh. It's, tw- it's, two- it's 2018 for me. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs have a six-and-a-half-point spread going their way. I am going to stay with that. I'm going with the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs. I mean, they're not going to keep losing. I like it. They're getting healthy. Okay. Chiefs. 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 Casey. I'm going with the former native team. <laughs> the former native team. <laughs> That's a way to call them. I like it. Definitely. <laughs> and the Chiefs in, okay, Washington. Casey, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm going to uh, now jump into the Rams. are heading all the way out to New York to take on the Giants. The, the Rams have a nine-and-a-half point spread. I'm going to go Rams. Oh, it's got to be the Rams, and they've had some struggles. So, Rams. 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 <laughs> Sequan Barkley is still questionable. I'm going with the Rams. Rams. Looking at uh, what the Giants have done or failed to do this year, I got to go with the Rams. Rams. Okay, that's not a, no no issues there. Um, we're gonna do Houston heading to the Colts. Um, Indy has a ten point spread. I think that is actually the largest spread of the weekend, um, and I'm still gonna go Houston. I like Houston too. Their running game is coming together, and uh, that's kind of making things up for the quarterback being out. Yeah, Yeah. I like it. I got Houston as well. Houston as well. I don't know. Indianapolis flying a little under the weather, fellas, Mm -hmm. uh, ladies and gentlemen. And (laughs) I'm going to go with uh, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. I think they're going to win. Got you. I feel like Houston's hot. Houston's hot. Okay. Houston's All right, hot. cool. I like it. Houston <laughs> is literally a hot place to be at. No, no, you're good. Um, uh, we have since he heading out to Detroit. Uh, the Bengals are the three, uh, three and a half uh, point spread leader. Okay. Um, and I'm also going to stick with that. I think they played the Packers wonderfully last week. They actually should have won that football game. But um, yeah, I'm going Bengals. I'm going with the underdog. I'm going with Detroit. Detroit oh, Lions. Wow. They need to. They need to win. Wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, they I do. Like it. They need to <laughs> they win. They do. Cincy. Cincy. Yeah. Now, Detroit's had some hard luck this year. A couple of games they should have won. Detroit. I'm okay. going with the Lions. Whoa. Okay. Yep. We've got two win. in Detroit. So we yeah, we got Cincinnati. Detroit. I'm gonna go Detroit. I just I feel like Detroit really just needs this all the way around. All you right. know. Yeah. No. They yeah. they, uh, they, they do. actually do. You don't want to go 0 <laughs> and six. All right. Then we have Green Bay heading out to Chicago for the longest rivalry of NFL history. Um, I'm going to go Green Bay, and Green Bay has the five and a half point spread. Packers. Packers. I got Chicago. Chicago Bears. Chicago That's a tough Bears. Bears. The Bears. That is always a tough game to pick. I'm going Packers. Packers. Yeah. Chicago. Chicago all Bears. Right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Sev coming with all of the hot takes. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we've got the Los Angeles Chargers and the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have a two-and-a-half point spread. I'm going to go Ravens. Ravens. <laughs> Justin Herbert. Justin, are you going to go Chargers? All right. This is probably the game of the week. i just keeping it yeah. honest. We talked about this the other day. Chargers. I mean, they're looking so good. i got to go with them. Chargers. Yeah. No one can stop Jackson. So I'm going with the Ravens. Baltimore oh, Ravens. Okay. <laughs> Ravens. Ravens. Ah, Ravens. We She's like it. Ravens. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Ravens. Uh, we do have the Vikings and the Panthers. Uh, the Vikes are a uh, two and a half point spread. Uh, but my boy is playing this weekend. He's been playing monster. He's been playing like a monster. Morgan Fox. I'm going with the Panthers. I'm going with the home team too. Panthers, Panthers as yeah. well. I like the Cats. He likes the Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> I like the Vikings. I think I got to go with the Vikings, the Vikings on this one. Okay, yeah. definitely. I just I love DJs. I like the Cats on that one. You're gonna go Cats. Yeah, I'm gonna go Cats. Yeah, all right, definitely <laughs> Panthers. All right, definitely. You convinced me. <laughs> we have the Cards and the Browns. Uh, the Browns are a three point spread, um, mm-hmm. even with the Cardinals being undefeated. I'm going to go with that. I'm going with Cleveland Browns. This is the week that the uh, Arizona Cardinals go down. I agree with you on that one. Cleveland's had some tough luck, so yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Cleveland. Cleveland as well. I like it. And Browns, what, 3-2, and two, so they want to mm-hmm. they want to get a win. But yeah. I'm going to stay with the Cards. You stay with the Cards. Yeah. I like the it. The Cards are my pick for the Super Bowl. I'm going with them. 6-0. and oh, I like it. That's I like it. I like one. it. That's yeah. a toss-up. Actually, you know what? I, I take it back. The game of the week is this one right here. You know what time it is. I've got Mike Lewis here. All right. I've got DJ on the ones and twos. It's getting heavy in here. We've got the Broncos. <laughs> we've got the Raiders. Uh, Raiders heading head to mile high. Everybody feels there the energy. There we go. <laughs> Where are we going? 
<laughs> I gotta go with my home, my team. It is the Las Vegas Raiders. Yes, yes, Las Vegas Raiders are gonna. Okay, I like it. It's gotta be Denver. It's they, gotta be Denver. It's gotta be Who Denver else would game. it be? Yes. And I tell you what, DJ, I love you. I'm going with the Broncos. I'm sorry, I gotta go with the Broncos. <laughs> Uh, they're going to come away with this one. It's okay to lose. Who knows who's going to show up for the Raiders, really, on this. Yeah. It's a tough – they're in shambles. It's just going to – the Broncos are going to win. Okay. There's no question. I don't know. I just watched a, a football game, you know, Super Bowl game a couple years ago where the Broncos lost really <laughs> bad. I mean, and, yeah, not doing the Broncos. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I know, I know, going, I know. Well, she's got the Raiders colors. Unforgiving. On it's so unforgiving. She's wearing Raiders colors. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. I just want, how much did he pay you? <laughs> yeah, right. uh, we'll wrap it up with the last three games of the week. Uh, we've got the Dallas Cowboys heading to New England to take on the Patriots. Oh, real quick, the Broncos are going to win that. Uh, have the spread, three point, three and a half point spread. Uh, the Cowboys do have a three point spread heading their way, though, taking on the Patriots. However, Dallas does not play that well in New England. I'm going to go with Patriots this week. Uh, I just gave uh, Prescott some kudos, so i got to go with Dallas. Dallas yeah. They've got no answers for Elliott. Dallas. Good point. All right. Dallas. I'm going Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas. Oh, of course. Yeah. We, yeah, <laughs> okay, definitely. And then we have – out uh, there on your island, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday night game, we have the Seahawks and the Steelers. Um, uh, Seahawks heading out to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh coming off a big-time win. They are five-point spread. Mm -hmm. Um uh, have the five point spread. Uh, we're gonna go with. Well, I'm gonna go with the Steelers. 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 Got to go Steelers. Steelers. Steelers are a tough team to figure out this year. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. They've had some injuries and old Big Ben. Yeah. I'm going Steelers. Steelers. Okay. <laughs> she gets <some> help. <laughs> she getting help back there. She's getting a little I bit of help. Now Seahawks. Huh? Uh, Seahawks. <laughs> you going Seahawks? She's going on the island. She's going on I the like island. It. <laughs> Seahawks. I'll go out on the island for Seahawks, you. Seahawks, yes. I like it. <laughs> All there the way back go. there. Give some love. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, and then Monday night, we have Josh Allen and the Bills taking on the Tennessee Titans. Five and a half point spread going to the Bills. Um, I think that is your safest bet. I'm going to stay with the Bills. To Tennessee. Yeah. Really? To Tennessee. Tennessee. Hey, look, <laughs> man. I love what he's doing oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Tennessee. I like it. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Power Bills. ranked number one for a reason. All right. I, yeah, I like it. Bills are good. Bills are good. Huh? Bills are great. Bills are great. Bills are awesome. <laughs> I like it. That's going to do it for our picks of the day. That's 50-50. Uh, before we totally wrap, once again, I want to thank um, Guy, Guy Gurton. Thank you for coming on. Hey, thank we you, We really Paul. appreciate you great having me. to be have, here. Oh, of course. We'll probably have to have you on again and again and uh, again. Whenever you want me. Uh, of course. We love it. We love it. Seven Murdoch, thank you so much. Thank you. Also want people to, to like and subscribe to Sev Sales. Yes, yes. KPBF, Saturdays, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I like it. There I like it. And then, um, obviously, we have Mike Lewis to my right. We really appreciate you always, man. But, hey, DJ, this is your show, baby. Yeah. We love you, man. We really appreciate you. Really thank you so much. Everything that you've done, all you've put in, all the effort, I really appreciate it. Man. Yep. I, I can't say it enough. It's Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Oh, you know that. <laughs> like and subscribe uh, on YouTube uh, at KPPF uh, Radio, 1040 AM. Also, Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Uh, Podbean, you can hear us. And then also you guys are listening on 1040 AM or 98.5 uh, <laughs> and 95.7. So thank you so much. This is Pat and Go with Paul Browning.